What is up guys? I'm back. I'm playing more Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So a friend and I are playing on a service called Parsec. So Parsec is something I've been using lately. It's been very useful. It's basically kind of like a screen sharing service that's designed for gaming. So it kind of tricks your computer into thinking that someone who is online with you and who's looking at the same thing you're looking at are actually like a second controller plugged into your computer. So I'm playing with someone online, but my computer thinks he's right here next to me. And so far, the connection has been pretty solid. So this is good for basically any game where like there isn't really a good online for it. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, and we're playing our top tier teams here. Uh, this is my friend El Grinta. Make sure to follow him on Twitch, the link down in the description. He plays Blackheart, who is a very cheap character. He's very, very hard to get in on, in case you can't tell, and he's got that San San anti-air assist. Get, get me off him whenever I get close. We're just kind of fishing here, trying to just get in and get that one hit so we can uh, kind of punish him for all this keep away nonsense, but nice confirm off of the San San. That was pretty sick. We're definitely going to look for a DHC into Sentinel here soon. Uh, high chipping super there, and it's safe, so... Pretty good stuff there. We are gonna fight to get in. We got in, boys. Okay, nice little air to air there. Oh, scared of San San. Okay. Oh, I wanted it. Oh no. I'm feeling like he's probably gonna raw tag soon, right? Oh, nice. He got me with the super setup. I want to try to make him block Doom Rocks. Oh no, it went over his head. I went for the fast fly combo, didn't quite hit it. I think I'm just going to raw tag in Doom here. Kind of scared of losing Sentinel. Okay, in comes Cable, another really good keep away character. As you can tell, his team is very much designed at keeping you out. So he's doing a good job of sticking to that game plan so far. Calling drones. I think that, yeah, the drones interrupted the air hyper viper beam. Okay, we're in, but what are we gonna do? Uh oh. Missed the super confirm. Okay, and he chipped me out. Nice. Okay, so we have Cyclops in. I'm gonna leave Cyclops in a little bit to kind of maximize HP I get on Sentinel. He went for the unblockable there. Slightly missed the timing. The uh, guard break, I should say. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Cyclops got in. Alright, so probably gonna look for a tag into Sentinel at some point, but I mean, there's no rush. Cyclops is a much better point character than Sansan. It's not even close, really. So we just gotta kinda try to bait that raw tag if we can. Or we'll just kill her! I told you guys, Cyclops is the god. You gotta watch out for this character. People kind of assume that he's only good for his assist, but he's actually... A quite strong point character who just happens to have a pretty busted assist as well. So with five seconds left, I don't think he was going to be able to do it. So we finally got him with the raw tag. Nice, dude. 1-0. That was tough at first, but we ended up making the comeback with some uh, carefully timed raw tags and also some nice Cyclops action. So let's run it back. I'm assuming he's not going to switch teams, but maybe he'll switch order. Uh, we shall see. Also, I think last game, did he raw tag at the beginning because his order was wrong? I'm not sure. Uh, I forget. So, we're using what's called the switch glitch here to switch in cable. In case you don't know, if you hold an assist button... When I, I said cable, I actually meant Doctor Doom. If you hold an assist button, that character will come in first. And then if you hold a button when the round starts, that button will automatically come out on the first frame. But I actually didn't know this. It looks like Blackheart's crouch uh, short or whatever that was jab is faster than doom so I actually did get hit there uh, super into chip just to make his string safe probably a smart move oh, tried to confirm off psych but not quite okay we got in for like a brief second but it didn't work out he got the confirm godlike dude oh we missed our confirm not as godlike and then we budged off the block and we got hit. Okay, that's tough. With no Doom, the comeback potential is gonna be a little bit tricky, but if anyone can do it, 
It's Sentinel, one of the best characters in the game, if not the best. Nice confirm there. Thankfully, Sentinel's super armor makes him very hard to combo. He hit me with the jab, but the super armor ate it, so no combo for him. Basically just doing raw super here. Oh, nice. I went for the instant overhead. Jump forward heavy kick with Sentinel. Uh, that super is pretty safe. Yeah, Sentinel versus Cable is a really bad look. I'm actually going to raw tag here. Because I want to see if I can kill Cable with Cyclops. That's really my only chance, I think, because Sentinel does kind of have a hard time against Cable with meter stock. No punish on that. That's totally safe. Okay, raw level one. I say level one. Cyclops only has level ones. That's true for most characters in this game. Can we kill? What did I tell you guys? Cyclops is the god. You do not want to mess with this guy. I really feel like he wants to raw tag, but instead he did get a DHC. Nice little confirm there with Sansan. I like it. Okay, nice. He's going to be able to just float above that. Blackheart's air control is pretty wild. I think we're definitely losing scent here. Okay, just Cyclops left. Last chance. It's going to be tricky, but... You know, we've seen it before, boys. What is that move? Was that intentional? Who does that with, with Blackheart? Oh, was that a dead character? I could have mashed out more hits, maybe. Oh, nice. Okay, we got him. It's in our reach, boys. It's in our reach. It's in our reach! Oh my god, Cyclops the god, dude. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? Cyclops the god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I'm starting to feel like I'm playing Yamcha or something. I'm telling you guys, the comebacks are not just limited to Dragon Ball fighters. Oh my gosh, how did I win that? That's insane. <sighs> That's the secret, boys. You just lose your first character really fast. And then you uh, make a Cyclops comeback. <laughs> That was so funny. Cyclops, is, I think, is probably my favorite character in this game. He's very, very fun. So now that we know that we lose the kind of first hit war with the switch glitch, uh, I'm going to do jump forward plus call Cyclops. Oh, he actually hit me out of it. I didn't think that would happen. So jumping forward with an assist at the start of the round could be pretty good uh, because the assist will cross up a lot of the times. Oh, another nice confirm. Man, I'm just not hitting those dash up air combos. Definitely gonna look for a DHC. Oh, the greenies got me. Nice confirm. Into a nice little setup, but setups like that just aren't as effective against Sentinel because of the armor. Against any other characters, he actually did get a hit on me, so. Against most characters, he would have been able to confirm off that, but Sentinel is busted. Make him try to block rocks. Nice jump out. You kind of have to, like, really mix up your projectile game with Sentinel. Oh, please hit him. Yes, the rocks hit him. You have to mix up your projectile game. Not get too predictable so they don't just jump out. There we go. Nice. Still alive, though. Okay, a little bit of free damage here. Going for some stomps. Not a good matchup. I really want a raw tag. Uh, we got away with it for the most part. Well, we got the confirm on Sansan, but not on the character I actually wanted. That's punishable, but it's very hard. You can see we were out of range. We needed to kind of wave dash up or something like that. Ooh, so Ooh the air hyper viper beam, but we bounced out. But Cyclops! Cyclops, no! Oh, we got them both. He got them both, and Cyclops is nearly dead, and there he actually landed the guard break. That is unblockable. A weird quirk of how normal jumps work in this game. You can only block, like, once in the air. If you block and then recover from the block, you can't block again until you land in a normal jump. And when your character's coming in after another character dies, that counts as a normal jump. So a lot of characters have guard break setups like that to kind of take advantage of that little flaw in the uh, the way the game is set up. Oh, I thought we could have had him there. 
Okay, nice. He got me. Two to one. Well played on that one. Definitely the air hyper viper beam on Cyclops is what absolutely killed me there. So we got to do better. We got to pay attention to his meter when Cable's out. Very, very important. So there's a consideration of switching order here, starting Sentinel instead. But I just generally think that Doom is going to work better in this matchup because uh, he's just better at getting in. Sentinel, even though you know he's super broken, perhaps the best character in the game, he can struggle a little bit against both Cable and Blackheart, I think, just because they fill the screen up with junk, and it's kind of hard to fly around it. Good players can make it happen, you'll see a lot, but I'm not really at that level, so we're going to switch. Oh no, I held the button too late. Okay, well I wanted Doom, but we got Sentinel instead. See, there's that thing I was talking about, hold up forward plus assist, so I guess we're going to attempt... <laughs> Wow, that was like, that must have been auto-block. Oh, did he get the infinite? This is actually an infinite. Uh, looks like he dropped it, though. It You can't kill with it because of the uh, undizzy system, which I don't feel like explaining in depth right now. But basically, most infinites aren't actually kill combos in this game because combos are kind of forced to end by the game system at around like 40-something hits. So you can't kill with that, but it is an infinite. Oh, damn. Cable actually kept my Cyclops out of the way. So his Sansan is very much bleeding. So if we can get a call out on her. Oh, damn. Sentinel 2. Oh, Sentinel 2. This is bad. Damn, I really, really wanted to punish Sansan right there, but it wasn't going to happen. We could have guard canceled in, but I don't know. Didn't really feel like spending the meter. Nice, Sansan. Alright, we're really going to have to make something crazy happen. DHC into Cable. How are we going to get in on this, man? It's pretty tough as Sentinel. Generally, like, Raw Super is one of the few. Okay, that'll help. That'll help, boys. Oh, nice. You got around it. We're going to do another Raw Super. Good block on the overhead, but we did get we did get Blackheart out of there. That's going to greatly increase my chances. So we get chipped out. Not a big deal. Really, we only have to kill Cable, and then he has crappy Sansan left, who is a pretty tough character to actually do anything with. So if we can just get Cable out of here. Fire up. Nice. Aiming that super. Pretty handy. Ooh, another one. Cyclops incredibly good with meter. You can see that's why I'm whiffing this jump heavy kick. Build as much meter as possible while still remaining relatively safe. Wow, I actually respect the raw tag. Uh, you wouldn't expect him to tag in kind of a crappy character, but every little bit of life on Cable is going to make a big difference. Is this punishable? Looks punishable if I, like, dash up. Uh-oh, only 10 seconds. Is this even possible? If we kill Sansan, it is. Or if we get enough damage on Cable Assist, but I think we're dead here. DHC into Cable. Oh my gosh, 2-2! Two to two. It's coming down to the final game, guys. Oh my gosh. So I think uh, definitely starting Sentinel was the wrong move, even though it was an accident. You know, I wanted to use the Switch glitch to bring in Doom. Starting Sentinel was a mistake, so I think if we can start with Doom, and if we can actually accomplish things with him, and not just have to, you know, switch him out when he gets low. If we can actually accomplish things, we're going to be in great shape and able to win this. So we're going to remember to hold down the assist button. I'm holding it down right now. And then hopefully Doom will be able to get in on this zoning nonsense. I'm thinking like call drones plus butter gun will be effective. Butter gun uh, is his jumping heavy punch. And it's actually pretty good at sort of counter zoning. He, he knew, I believe, that I have the faster light there. I don't know if I actually have it or if he disrespected it. So, see, that's the butter gun that I'm talking about. And you can use it with drones to kind of set yourself up to get in. Okay, uh, Hyper Viper Beam. Trying to kind of snipe him with the butter gun. Oh, shame. Oh, he's in.
Oh, I was focusing so hard on that combo, boys. Oh, we got him. We got him. What did I say, boys? We just got to make stuff happen with Doom. Oh, and that's exactly what you want to do with this team. Get the combo into the DHC. Get that ridiculous, insane damage. And we took out maybe his best character, although Blackheart is very much still a threat. But we're getting big damage here on Sansan. Trying to call Doom, maybe, so I can keep uh, Blackheart from... Uh, getting back in on me after that super. That super is extremely hard to punish from Sentinel, but it is possible if you manage to jump out at the right time. Nice, fast fly combo. He is taking a lot of chip from Doom. Cyclops to get him off me. This is looking well in the bag, boys. Chip out, and then here comes Sansan. Low tiers are so bad at dealing with Sentinel. <laughs> If you can't control this guys, you're gonna you're really gonna falter against Sentinel. It's a bad look. Oh, we didn't quite do it there. And then the armor. The armor jab. How many hits did that jab just go through? Like three hits? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm really, really happy with that last game, man. We got in there with Doom. We landed the DHC into Sentinel. It's exactly what I want to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the match. That was really fun for me to play. And uh, check out Parsec if you haven't. It's a good way to uh, you know play games like this online that are kind of more forgotten about. So I had a great time, and I hope you did too. I'll see you in the next one, guys.